Okay. Uh, and for context, they are two of the tunes in my funeral music, which I've already paid for. And it is thrash, thrash metal. As you can imagine, raining bump, but yeah, so it's really, really, really heavy. And actually, there's a, a rapper called Ice T who has a band called Body Count, they do a cover of this song. And the YouTube cover, oh, it's so much more because, like, that album was the first album of Slayer, and it's great, but it hasn't got the deep the depth and the resonance and the drums that it wasn't it's not as crisp as this body count version so i listen to that most of the time wow um you already paid for the funeral is that what you said yep first thing i did what, for what reason because um the angiogram doctor so i'm still on lying on the bed shaking like this i don't know what's going on i'm completely uh helpless and specialist doctors have a way of being genuinely interested in things they don't see often. So I have this angiogram, they put this fluid in and stick these tubes through your arteries. And that's how I found out where the blockage is. And he wandered into this room where I was waiting with my dad. And I'd said to him, don't, don't leave me as a, don't leave me as a, as a vegetable. Yeah, because I'd, I'd sat opposite this guy for a month who was just brain dead. Dead. Tubes to feed him, tubes to suck liquid out. His parents were sitting by his side every day and, you know, he's just not coming back. So he wandered into the room and said, oh, I've never seen this condition on someone alive before. And I overheard that and I went, right, okay, let's make some decisions. No point staying in hospital, I'm wasting resources. So I checked out the hospital. I had, my dad had uh, already put my house in one area up for sale and we started looking for places near him because I lived an hour away when I had the strokes, he couldn't get to me. Um, and so um, I just basically went, right, okay, I have some money in savings, but because I'm no longer able to work, council tax, service charge on the flat I live in, all these bills, money was just going. So I went, okay, before it goes, let's take any financial burden off my brother and my dad. Because at the time they would have had to have found 40,000 pounds in inheritance tax from my estate and I went right I'm not gonna I'm not gonna leave him in that in that situation so I paid for the funeral and the next thing I did was give away everything that had been in my cupboards for more than five years not looked at and then the next thing I did was have an elective um vasectomy so I could I de I declared myself in my mind and to the world I'm out of the game I'm not able to play the game so I'm not going to engage in the game Hence the imposter syndrome. Wow. I know I'm a difficult study. <laughs> no, no, it's it's it, 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 it's fascinating how you, you know, your uh, your awareness and your your uh, choices, you know, that you're making, and you know, they're your choices, and, they, and you know, they're they're informed choices by your your own experience and your own, you know, your loved ones, and ma making the right decision for them and for you. It's just. Uh, it's fascinating, but so tell me before we get to to the, we will get to social media too and more yeah, after yeah. this. But I want to want to understand what got you here. You know, so before the accident or any, what, what was what, what did you get into? Uh, you know, work wise and study wise, what what really got you know, got you going well, before before now? Before now, so I and this is. Uh something I only found out later. I'm dyslexic, so I was able to get a one for the English oral exam, but an F for the written exam. So I got the minimum five GCSEs at the time, came out of school, uh, started doing A-levels, but couldn't be bothered to turn up. So they said, you might as well leave. So I left my mum, uh, adoptive mum, but mum was working for a youth training scheme uh, in the no, uh, uh, late 80s and early 90s um, and she 
uh, found me a, sale, a sales job with a small new company 